What's up YouTube? This is Joy Neville. I'm literally just coming on here for one second just to show you guys something that I felt like sharing. So I was digging through my drawers looking for something and I found something. Um, I came across these. They are Winnie the Pooh pajamas. They're very old they're very dingy. The elastic is totally gone on these. They're very stretched out. My dog. Please go, Bandit. He's always with me. Um, these are what I wore for probably like five, six years. They were my favorite, maybe seven, eight years actually. They were my favorite pajamas um, when I married my husband. I bought them at Walmart. They had a matching top, but the top, even in the 3X, was too small for me, so I never wore it. But I always wore the shorts. These were booty shorts on me. They were very tight, um, but they were comfortable. They weren't like super, super tight. They were just snug. They fitted me, and they were booty shorts on me. Um, but they were my jammy shorts, and they are worn to the brim. I kept this one article of clothing because at my biggest I lived in these pajamas. I was depressed. I was on the couch a lot. Um, yeah, so I thought I would share this with you. Um, it's a memory I kept because I don't I want to remind myself how far I come and sometimes I forget. I weighed myself the other day and um, I've lost 137 pounds now so far. This year I've only lost like three pounds, three and a half pounds, four pounds, somewhere in there, in a whole year. And so I get defeated sometimes. But I keep going because this is my life. This is my life now. It's been three and a half years. I'm not going back. So I just keep going and if I don't lose weight, at least I'm maintaining and I'm healthy, you know, and I'm working mentally on myself too. But um, I did keep these in case I ever did slip up too far and I didn't get back on the wagon. These would remind me where I don't want to go back to. Not that being big is bad. You're big, you're still beautiful. Love yourself. But it was bad for me because I wasn't happy. I didn't love myself. I couldn't love myself that big. Um, I wasn't healthy. I had a horrible relationship with food. And now I'm on a much better mental status and I'm, I'm living a much better life now. That's what I mean when I say I don't want to go back to being big. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to try these on for you guys. And for myself, to show myself and remind myself. So let me aim you guys down just a tad. So I have the jammy shorts on right now. These are a medium. I'm not going to get too into this yet. I have a lot of skin. Maybe one day I'll make a skin video. If I get a thousand subscribers, I'll make a skin video. Thousand subscribers. I will show all this. <laughs> so here we go. These are my Winnie the Pooh shorts. When I was at my biggest, almost 300 pounds, I lived in these. These were tight on me. I don't know if you can get a good idea of how big these are. But I'm shocked to see these. You guys, this is one of my legs. I'm the size of one of my thighs. I can put them on. Sorry if I'm getting emotional. So this is them. Pull them up some. That's how big I was, you guys. And I stretched the elastic completely out of them because, like I said, they were snug on my belly. And my butt was hanging out of them. And now if I wore these normal, let me turn you down some more. I'm, like, so emotional right now. If I wore these normally... These go way down to my knees, but I had such a big booty, nothing's wrong with that, that these were like really short up to here on me. 
but this was my body, you guys. So when I say that I don't want to go back to being big, it's not because I didn't think I was beautiful. It's just because I wasn't healthy and I didn't love myself and I wasn't in a good mental state. This is not okay to me. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't hike. I couldn't walk. I couldn't camp with my family. I couldn't travel. I couldn't go quadding, dirt biking, swimming. I couldn't do those things. And now I can. This is a whole nother person. Let me see if I can get in one leg. So I literally am the size of one of my thighs. I'm in one of them. This is one leg and there's still room. Like there's still room in this leg. I filled these up, you guys. Look at that. That's crazy. It's like a whole, it's like I lost a whole person. Whoa. <laughs> so yes, I'm in my bathroom and I just, I found these and I went down and showed my husband and I wanted to share it with you guys because, yeah, I just forgot, I guess. I forgot how big I was. And I'm really proud of myself. I'm not going to go back. <laughs> I'm going to keep working on my mental health. I'm going to keep loving myself and keep on going. And I just had to remind myself, like, you've come so far. Don't get discouraged. Because there's days where I'm discouraged, too. Everybody's like, you lost 135 pounds. You should be happy. And I am. I am. Trust me, I am. My whole family knows I am. I'm a happier person. But just, I'm still hum human. And when you try so hard, you do get discouraged sometimes. And you want to give up. And I think I'm crying. Because I just realized how far I've come and how much I really have lost. I don't see what you guys see. I still see 300 pound joy. And I think I just saw that I'm not 300 pound joy. Sorry guys. Okay, get it together. Anyways, this is real, this is life, this is what's happening. Um, whew, that's hard. Anybody who's on a weight loss journey to change your life, keep something. Even if it's a pair of Winnie the Pooh pajama shorts. Keep your favorite item that you wore on a daily basis that you are connected to. And when you hit your goal, or pass your goal, like I have, go back and find those shorts, or pants, or jeans, or a dress, and try them on. When you start to feel like you're failing, and that you're stuck, or you're paused, and you're not getting anywhere, when you start to feel like you can't do this, you, you like food too much, you're giving up, when you start to feel like Nobody understands. I just can't do it anymore. Tell yourself you can. You can do it. And it's worth it, I promise you. It's worth all of the hard nights you worked out. It's worth all the nights you watched other people eat ice cream while you ate yogurt. It's worth all the nights where 
people ate popcorn at the movie theater and you ate rice cakes with butter flavored popcorn on it it's worth it trust me it's worth it it feels good these mean a lot more than just a big pair of shorts it's not all about losing weight i'm just a whole different person you guys i was miserable miserable and i'm not going to go into details but i coped in different ways than i should have i was miserable i took my anger out on people i was depressed and i made other people depressed and i'm just not like that anymore i try to uplift people and make people feel good about themselves and just be positive so love yourself if there's anything you got out of this video love yourself you're worth it and you can do it you can do it I did it and I'm still going you can do it too sorry that I'm a big baby I don't even know why I'm crying I didn't expect to cry that really hit home for me. It just reminded me of a bunch of my life that I wasted not thinking I could lose weight, not thinking I could get healthy, thinking I would never do it. Yeah, I can lose 20 pounds. I can even lose 50, 60 pounds, but I could never get healthy. I can't go that long. Yeah, anybody can diet for six months, but you can't stay on it. That's how I thought. And when I went into this, that's how I thought. And then over time, watching other YouTube weight loss influencers, watching their struggles and how they kept going and they never gave up, even when they cheat, cheated, had a cheat day, fell off the wagon for a month, a week, whatever, they got back on. It doesn't matter how much you mess up if you keep going. Who cares? If you ate the donuts, the ice cream, the pizza, and the Domino's, and the pizza, and the McDonald's, and the Jack in the Box, and you had a whole month of craziness. Who cares if you had a whole summer of craziness? If you get back on and keep going, that little bit of time you messed up is not worth backtracking all the weight that you're losing. Just keep going, guys. Don't give up. You're worth it. <sighs> Love you guys. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for asking me questions. And thank you for supporting me. You guys motivate me. I know you guys say that I'm your motivation. I love that. But you guys motivate me too. So thank you. Thank you for making me feel beautiful every day. Stay strong. Stay beautiful. I love you. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye YouTube.